What's up, wonderful people? This is Revival Mandate Media Channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook. We are here right in the UAE, precisely Dubai. We are in the church today, um, we are in the street, asking questions about some pastors we see in the land of UAE. We're asking them, um, you know, some people have been asking me, how has it been doing ministry in the land of D Dubai? How has it been starting a church in UAE if God called you to, be st to start a ministry? Yeah. So we have some pastor with us. Please, sir, what is your name? My name is Pastor Camille. I'm from Cameroon. Okay, um, what's the name of your church? Um, the Bread of Life International. Okay, sir, so we have some questions for you. First of all, can you tell us um, how was it possible to stand, to stand and start a ministry here in Dubai? Um, the truth is, it's not really easy. It wasn't really easy to set up a ministry, a church here in Dubai, because the challenges here are enormous. Um, like I always say, you see the Middle East and Asia is the only place where Jesus had just 12 disciples. <laughs> Jesus, with all the anointing, he had 12. So it's a really challenging area to do ministry. So the first thing I would advise anyone that wants to do ministry in the Middle East, you must be called. You must receive the vision that is the Middle East. Because the truth is, ministry back home in Africa is different from ministry in the Middle East. It's totally two different things. So first thing, you should be assured that you are called to be in the Middle East. Because of the systems, maybe we'll talk on that maybe another time. The systems, the laws of the city, the Islamic laws and everything, is really challenging. Because there have been many times I want to quit, but I'm telling you, God is faithful. And another thing, you should be a man of God that has pure motives for the gospel. Your motive should be pure. If you are into ministry, maybe you, want, you are for money, then the Middle East is not for you. But if you are into the gospel for souls, to see that souls are being established and come to the kingdom, then I think this is a terrain where you can do ministry, but you should be called. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Please, before you go, we have another question for you. And that question goes like this. Um, since you say that it has not been easy, God has been helping you. So, have you actually woke up one day and tried to quit this ministry stuff and just do your job? Yes. Many times, I remember the first three months when I came to Dubai, to UAE, I wanted to go back. I was so discouraged. I was so, so discouraged. Because I saw the challenges, especially the financial challenges were so much. Uh, the halls we pay for a service in UAE can be money we can pay for a mega hall back home. Yes, I wanted to quit. And at that time, I was into full time. I wasn't working. I was into full time doing just ministry. But by the grace of God, at that time, I, God spoke and God kept speaking. And that kept me. Okay. You are telling us that your motivation is that God spoke to you. Yes. That was the only thing. That was the only assurance that gave me the strength to stay. Because I told God, God, and this, this one I will tell you because it's from my heart. I told God, God, if you don't do something within these three months in my life and ministry, I will, you will lose a seven. I will quit ministry because I will feel like this thing is not true. And at that time, within that time, I took a 21 days fast. And within that time, God spoke to me. And God gave me an assurance. That's why I stayed. Okay, thank you so much. That was awesome. People of God, you have heard from the horse's mouth. He was explaining that um, it was God that spoke to him. It was not easy for the first three months that he came. But God actually came to his aid and God helped him. So if you are coming to Dubai to, to, to start a ministry or to do something like this, make sure you hear from God. Thank you so much. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Revival Mandate Media. Follow us on Facebook. The Lord bless you. <laughs>